Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Dave the Phone Guy, and today I have the Blue Smartphone G9 Pro. And today we're gonna be unboxing it, and uh, I'm gonna give you my initial thoughts. So the specs on this phone are pretty good. It's got a 6.3 inch full HD display, 1080 by 2340 resolution, 409 PPI. This thing's rocking the MediaTek Helio P60. It's got 128 gigabytes of internal memory and four gigs of RAM. And then it has a triple camera setup on the rear. It's got a 20, a 16, and a five megapixel shooter. Check out the blue. I don't know what it is lately. I've been getting a bunch of blue phones. It's been uh, pretty cool. They call this Nightfall. This is nice. This is, check this out. Can you, I don't know if this is coming across on the camera, the way I see it. It's pretty dope though. I like to design the slash to the side. It's pretty cool. It's got the fingerprint sensor. I, I miss this. I, I prefer the rear fingerprint sensor over the front one. I don't know, it just seems more natural to me. Wow, that's loading. Let's see what else is in the box. Got your USB A to C. Got a charging brick right here. Some headphones, it's kind of cool. Sim ejector tool, some stickers. Got your manual. I don't I don't think anybody reads this stuff. Comes with a case as well. I mean, they, they give you a lot. This is a $200 phone. You got a case. This looks like a screen protector. What the? Wow. So 200 bucks, you get the phone, you get screen protector, you get headphones, you get charger. I mean, you get a lot of stuff. This is, this back is dope. Let's see how quick the fingerprint sensor sets up. It has a nice vibration to it when I'm touching it. So the overall feel of this phone, I mean, it feels solid. I mean, it's it's got a nice feeling to it. Doesn't seem to want to flex at all. I mean, it, it, feels, it feels solid. It has a nice weight to it. Let's see if I can show you guys how quickly uh, it locks and unlocks. I mean, it seems to be pretty fast. So the phone unlocks pretty quick by just touching it. The fingerprint sensor seems pretty uh, pretty premium. Uh, let's check out the, the camera here. Let's get a picture of this guy. Smile, Thanos. Hulk, do your thing. So, my initial impressions, the camera, the photo seems a little washed out there. Let's let's check the other one. It just might have been me, because uh, this picture came out pretty good. I think that would be a cool wallpaper. All right, there's the man right there. He took out half the planet with the snap of his fingers. Let's see, youtube.com forward slash Dave the phone guy. The keyboard feels all right. I'm getting good feedback from it. Maybe even a little bit better than the Xiaomi Mi 9T. I don't know if you guys have checked this one out yet. Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Dave the Phone Guy. A few days ago, my battery life was down to 20% and it was going to be hours before I was- So it looks like it's pretty bloatware free. I see a few things that are on here that don't necessarily need to be on the phone. A couple of games, which I'm sure is easily uninstallable. Let's check it out. So Coin Master, uninstall, yeah. So all this stuff is is easy to uninstall this solitaire game. I don't I don't need that. It's got Yahoo Mail. I don't, I don't know who uses that. You can uninstall it. It's easy. So I mean it's pretty bloatware free. They don't have any extra apps, unnecessary stuff really on here. All your Google apps looks like it has Pandora, which is fine. I use that from time to time. So what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna go ahead and put the phone through its paces. I'm gonna test it out, pop a SIM card in there, use it for like a week, let you know what my thoughts are. I also have uh, some new phones coming. The Samsung A10e, the Galaxy A20, and the Galaxy A50. They're not supposed to ship until the 20th of this month, so we'll get a video on those phones as well. I'll do a full unboxing of all three of them together and uh, we'll see what comes in it. We'll see what they're about. I'll do a review. So the cool thing about this phone, this is a $200 phone. It feels super solid. The color's cool. You know, it's got a, a sweet design. People will be impressed with that design, I think. Looks pretty dope. It is a fingerprint magnet. You can see I got fingerprints all over this thing already. This doesn't have one of the Snapdragons. This has a MediaTek. So I'm gonna let you know if it's actually actually up to the task of being used as a daily driver because there's some other phones that are priced pretty similar, 
that will compete head to head with this just like one of the Samsungs, that A10e that I have coming, it's actually a little cheaper than this phone. So I'm really curious to see how that will match up with this phone here because, you know, $20 difference, but it's got Samsung's name on it. Will it live up to the Samsung brand or is it just gonna be, you know, another budget-minded phone? All right, guys, so this again is the Blue G9 Pro. Uh, I hope you liked the unboxing video. If I helped you in any way or if you liked the video, please go ahead, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe, hit the bell so you'll get notified of my next video. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.